Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. <clears throat> oh, sorry, my allergies must be acting up. Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's start things off with a bang by playing the boss of World 2, known as Pix. It's... You pretty much starts that you can't do anything about them except dodge their polygonal lasers. Yeah, it's laser jump rope basically in the first phase here, and it's not all that hard. In fact, none of these dodging phases are all that hard in general. <laughs> and you'll see that there's two now, and now they're going to be rotating while doing their laser thingy, and that actually gives them less, like, hitting power most of the time because they aren't on the field, you know, to be able to damage you when they're... You get what I'm saying here, because, you know, this is a side-scroller, and they aren't in the plane that of damaging you most of the time. <laughs> and now we've got three! This is probably the trickiest of them, because you got to look out for them beneath the platforms, as well as being above you. you just got to try and predict their movements and when they're going to change the direction, if at all. Oh, God, like that. That was very close. <laughs> just got to watch them carefully, and now we can start hurting them. You'll see the bar boss meter at the bottom of the screen there fill up. Do not stand on the larger platform, because then you're going to have to deal with these DNA critters. <laughs> and just throw... That was terrible on my part. When he does that attack, just jump right through. I'm going to try to hit it. Oh, that worked. You don't have to match colors or anything like that. You just have to shoot the DNA at them. I don't know if they're actually DNA, but I couldn't really find a name for these critters. So I just thought of calling them DNA for the for kicks. And yeah, it's very, very simple, as you can tell by their attack pattern. And I'm just gonna let them go on. I'm gonna go underneath it. Oh, there, one is down. And once one is down like that, you can't cause any more damage to it. So focus on the other ones. No, my DNA! I couldn't grab it in time. And what are you gonna do this time? No, oh, let's just attack again. No big deal. Although this is probably this attack right here is probably the hardest one to hit them in because you it's very hard to time when to throw your DNA at them. Ah, there we go. It takes a little bit of practice to get it down. You just, you just gotta feel out their movements, I suppose. Alright, green one. You're the only one left. And whoopsie. <laughs> Now, that was a terrible attack right there, actually, because that would never hit me if I was just standing on the ground. And that's the boss. Oh, really, that's it. Pretty easy. <laughs> Whew. Now do the Kirby this time. Dang it, that is not the Kirby. Kirby. Oh, the heat, it's unbearable. Oh, I need water. And food, preferably. Oh! <laughs> it's a mirage. Don't worry, Kirby, we'll find some food shortly. And wait, we had food all along? What the heck? I guess he's just simply hungry in general. What? You can't eat the whole apple. There's arsenic in the seeds. And that is not how you paint an apple. That is way, way too fast and impossible. Unless she's just wiping off the canvas, like maybe the canvas got dusty or something like that, and she used her paintbrush to wipe it off, and it just uncovered the apple that she already painted. No, my cake! And needless to say, we are starting World 3 in this part, because we have plenty of time to do so. So, let's go to Aqua Star. But first, let's listen to the theme. I was dancing there, but you couldn't tell. So, 3-1, let's get it started. Oh, wait, 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 almost forgot. Nothing? Oh, no, it was all a waste of time. I was only fooling myself and, oh, shoot. <laughs> that guy gives you the rock ability. And I actually think I need something for, I think I need bomb and ice later on, but I'm just going to stick with what I have. Watch out for these holes, there's floppers inside of them, just saying, but I do believe there's actually stuff in these holes, so I might want to check all of them. Just make sure that you get all the way down to the bottom, and you can tell when you're at the bottom when you see the camera, like, stop moving. See that? Yeah, like that. 
So those, those fish, I don't know how they manage to live in there. I mean, that, well, I suppose they could jump out to get food if they so desired. I'm gonna combine these two just for the fun of it to show you what we get here. You can carve yourself into statues of critters from Kirby Dreamland 3. Yep. <laughs> it's a pretty neat ability. And I'm actually gonna need to use this to get a crystal shard a little bit later on. Wah! And uh, let's get something. Oh, these are all so unbelievably slow, but they work. I was gonna. I'm hoping for a uh, pitch. Um, no. This one! This is the fastest one, and you can pretty much demolish everything. <laughs> um, you can go through these by holding down, so I thought I would show you that. And I forgot I don't have my usual water powers. <laughs> uh, maximum tomato over there, is that something that's worth getting? It's gonna be really slow getting in because I am mega, mega slow underwater. It's like you're half the speed underwater. <laughs> Oh, and I never showed you, I mean, I never told you how to do the swimming controls, did I? It's pretty much just like floating, actually, except you're slower. So you just press the jump up to ascend, and you just descend on your own, or press down to descend faster. And I just swore, oh, I had the right one that time. <laughs> I just popped myself out of it too quickly. But anyway, this power is kind of slow, so I'm going to ditch it. I, I still need the right power for something else a little bit later. Um... I think there's a crystal shard in this room, actually, so I, I don't wor won't worry about the other stuff until later, I suppose. Whee! And there's one coming up. Was it down here? No, it wasn't. Don't do be too worried about falling, because obviously you're invincible as you're being shot out. So, oh, oh there it is. <laughs> so I'm just gonna plop down here. I knew it was down one of the the sides, but I forgot which side it was. Now I remember, because, you know, I've seen it. <laughs> Out of my way! Uh, is there anything over yonder here in this blank space? Well, there's blank space. I suppose that's technically something. And, you know, there's starfish and seashells encrusted in the walls as fossils. And penguin! I could use you. Uh, wait, I need this plus bomb, that's right, okay. So I, 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 was, I was thinking I should combine these two, but no, I'm gonna save. Look out for the frogs. <laughs> if you didn't notice those eyes there, they, they're basically traps. Yeah, crap, it's a trap. <laughs> uh, oh, that's what I need. Throw your bomb so you don't clash with my ice. You're not going to throw it unless I get close, are you? Well, that works in my favor, then. <laughs> so, once you get this, you become... a walking, exploding snowman. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty mean trap in on itself. I mean, that little innocent snowman. It just seems, uh, like, seems so happy and seems so innocent, but... No, once it touches an enemy or... It gets hit by something, it explodes instantly and kills the enemy. You can't set off the explosion on your own, you actually gotta run into into things. But that kind of works in your favor, <laughs> if you ask me. Uh, if you just like wait around next to enemies, that also works. It also freezes them, as you can tell. And when you freeze them, you can kick them at other enemies just by running into them on the side. And you know, the opposite side you want to kick them at. Oh shoot, no! By the way, if you get... Uh, hit too many times when you have a power, you'll actually lose your power, and I do not want that to happen, because I need the power that be... Oh, wait, that's right, you can't... These waterfalls push you downwards, watch. I can't get up there. Well, I can, I just have to finesse my way into it. <laughs> but I mean, I can't swim up to it the normal way, or fly up to it the normal way. And... Boop. Such a handy power, but... I. It's gonna be used a little bit later. I think a boss is right here. Yep, it is boss tick. And whoa, that hurt me. What? Did I get hurt by just being or touching you in general? Wait, what? Do I, why, am I, why am I not doing this? Because this is where the crystal shard appears anyway. <laughs> now watch this. Yeah, that's broken. <laughs> You take care of the tick threats underneath you, and if you don't have a power, you just go on here and obviously suck them up, but right here, you're perfectly safe, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I didn't expect that to go down so quick, but oh well. It still worked. 
And give me something, give me something, Maxim Tomato! Or Tomato for whoever wants to be technical about things. <laughs> I'd still like to see... I'm pretty sure some of these holes hide stuff. And I kill that... Oh, I thought I killed the enemy. I cannot lose my power, dang it. Maybe it's the one that mar that's marked by the star? Maybe not. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure there's something hidden in one of these things. It's not a crystal shard, but I just thought there was something hidden. And I'm gonna blow you up, and I believe the thing that I need to blow up- No! With my bomb and ice power is down here. Yes! This block right here. I'll just stand right on here and use my body as an explosion. Voila! And you get shot through here, which gives you that crystal shard. Yeehaw! And that finishes the level. Uh, although I'm, you know, gonna explore the rest of it just for the fun of it. Let's see... Actually, there wasn't really much to see, was there? <laughs> Dang it, Lakitu! Okay, I know that's not Lakitu, but it certainly reminds me of one. Oh, dang it! can't let myself die at this point. Oh geez, you have a very high jump. Maybe I should just skip the holes. I've got all the shards. <laughs> yeah, let's just make it to the end of the level safely, shall we? Yeah. Voila. And... Card time? Yeah! Okay, I think I'll do one more level. <laughs> let's go! Oh, is this the whitewater rafting one? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna ditch this one because I need something later, I believe. I think it's firepower. Oh, nope. Didn't need to do that. <laughs> I let go of the button way too early. Oh, uh, maybe I should use the light bulb power by combining these two just for fun. Because I didn't really... Great. <laughs> I didn't really show the extent of the light bulb power when I had it because I ran low on battery power, so I might as well show that now for the heck of it. And oh shoot, I killed the spark guy. <laughs> Dang it! Um, Sparky, return. Thank you. Yummy. And now I need. Well, not a fish. <laughs> I'm going to don't throw. Okay. I hate when they throw and then they like destroy the power as you're using it against them. Okay, here's how the light bulb works in its entirety. When you press and hold the B button, it, it lights you up and you're pretty much invincible, except, I mean, you know, like attacks and stuff like that, but if you hold it for a while, you explode and then it damages nearby enemies. But of course, the handiness of the power is to be able to just like run through stuff like this, and yeah, it's, it's, it's faster than the spark power on its own, basically. And that's why I kind of like this power a lot. <laughs> it's because it, it pretty much makes you invincible the whole way through, and you can even destroy blocks just by running into them like that. I think I've used that chocolate pop there a while back, but whatever. <laughs> I have plenty of lives, even though they kind of reset every time I turn off the game, but that's okay. <laughs> it's, this game isn't that hard at all. Look out for this bridge, it falls! Oh no! I don't think I missed anything just yet. Hopefully. <laughs> and, oh, there's a little bit of current to work against you over here. And, oh, I should switch powers here, because I need you. And, let's go! I think I actually need it for this right here. If I'm not mistaken. Wah! Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no! It's fire plus stone. Oh, oh, I forgot about the other elements. Okay, I'll be back here later. <laughs> but anyway, once you beat the boss, you can leave the room, which is down over here. That Yeah, this wall was closed before it opens up. What is above this place? Oh, sandwich. Mmm, I don't know why there would be a sandwich way up here, but there is a sandwich way up there. <laughs> Alright, now for the white water rafting portion, I think. Uh, yes it is. Okay, be on the lookout for crystal shards here. 
and be sure to react to them in time. Watch the right side of the screen here. Don't worry about running into enemies. You can just destroy them by running into them without any issues, but you gotta look out for boxes like this. Those are the things that hurt you. Just keep looking on the right side of the screen, just so that you can tell what's coming. And jump when you are about to feel... Oh yeah, I got it! When you feel something is coming, look, via the exclamation point, I suppose. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty safe ride, all things considered, actually. It's not that hard to react to anything. Even with the camera at this angle, you don't have much time to react to stuff. But it's just so slow that you, you have a lot more time than it seems like, is what I'm saying here. And death drop! Okay, maybe not. This is the death drop. <laughs> and if you go back... Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I thought there was a shard coming up here. Out of my way. Oh, and having... Oh, super candy! Woo! Go, 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 go! But be on the lookout for shards. <laughs> I know there's one next to one of these waterfalls along the way. Needless to say, this makes you invincible and faster than before. <laughs> so take advantage of it while you can. Oh, there it is. There's the third, and all I gotta do is go back through this stage with the added rock power, I suppose. And here's the end. Wait, what? I thought... There's... Oh, the rolling spike logs! Yeah! I forgot about this part. When you get near the spiky logs, they come out and attack you, yeah. <laughs> They're little traps, basically. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, no! How oh, dare you! I didn't see any rock element powers on the way here. It's kind of depressing. <laughs> because I'm going to have to go to another level then in order to get that power. Unless I just wasn't paying attention oops, for rock enemies along the way, because I was only looking for fire ones, because I remembered I only needed fire, even though I needed more than that. So I remembered wrong, basically. Oh, poopers. I'm just doing terrible, but I'm making good pace, I suppose. <laughs> and this one, gotta look out for it. It actually lands on the platform. That one's a very special one that got me the first time I went through this level. And now we're at the end of the level. And I forgot all about that spiky section. Card, yeah! Alright, I need the rock power to combine with it. <laughs> Man, World 1-2 is just like perfect to get the rock, I mean stone fire power. Just look at this right here, right at the beginning. Yeah! <laughs> oh, and you can leave levels and you'll be just fine. Uh, with keeping your power and stuff like that. It's only the crystal shards that you must complete the level for. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, the crystal shards, as you can tell by the markings there, are actually marked in order on the level um, on the level select here. Like you see, I missed the first one, and I got the two after that, so the first one is blank, the two, one, the two after that are not, obviously. So that's a good way to tell you which part of a level might contain the shard, you know, still, that you haven't uh, covered yet, like maybe you missed something. Anyway, let's go back to the spot. There was a rock enemy! Ah! If only I had known, I would have picked you up early on in the level. If only I had known. Boss room time! And I can tell this is going to be really, really easy with this power, just watch us. Well, I thought I could shoot through the platform, actually, but I guess not. This works fine anyway. <laughs> and it also makes a lot of sense to have this power, because, yeah, you just break things straight above you. And there's the last crystal shard. See you at the end of the level. Card, 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 card... No! I overshot it! I overshot it! No! <laughs> Well, I'm going to end out the part here, regardless of my loss there, because I got all the shards, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.